All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can sort anything. As a more advanced way, I'm gonna show you how we can do it with data dryer, but just understand that the rule applies to anything you wanna sort, okay? So we're gonna do this demo right here, and you can see all of these keys are all over the place. Now, it's important to understand that these are actual keys and not values. So when we go to sort this, we wanna make sure we're sorting the keys and not the value. And I'll show you why that's a big deal in a second. So now what we wanna do is come back over to shortcuts. We're gonna to go to data jar. We're gonna click on get value. I'm going to drop in the list. And now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna type in get dictionary because that's what we're doing. So we're gonna do get dictionary from input. All right, now we all set. The next thing I wanna do is I would like to filter. So if you don't have like, for example, I have sort, so I can easily sort the list using Toolbox Pro, which probably is the easiest way to do it. But if you don't have Toolbox Pro, or you don't have any third-party add-ons for your shortcuts, then you want this one right here where it says filter files. I understand it doesn't make sense. Maybe shortcuts team will come in later and change that. But as of right now, this is how you do it. It says sort by, you click right here. You can sort by any of these. We're gonna sort by the name, ascending or descending. This would be descending Z to A, and ascending will be A to Z. So that's what we're gonna leave it at. And now when we click on here, here's what you're gonna get. So let me just type in show results. So if we drop a show results up in there and we click play, you're gonna get all this goobly gob. And that's because it's actually pulling the values for each key instead of pulling the keys. So we wanna make sure it's pulling the keys, all right? So the way we do that is we're gonna come over here to our dictionary, click on it, scroll down, and these are all variables. So instead of getting a dictionary, we wanna get the key. Once we get the key, we're going to delete that. I ain't try to add anything extra. Once we do that and we push play, you're going to now see that we have the key. But the next problem you're going to run into is maybe you want to do something with these keys or something like that. So you're going to need to create a choose from list. All right. So let's go over to choose from list. So we're just going to grab this, drop it right there. And now this is going to be a problem. So I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show you. So I'm gonna say show results because I wanna show you where you could possibly get tripped up at. And now we're gonna say play. And now that I have it, if I click on, let's say my desk, say done, you can see it's only giving me my desk. It's, it's giving me the value my desk and it's not, well, it's giving me the key, but it's not giving me the value for my desk. And that isn't what we wanted to do. So the way we get around that is really simple. We have this as a value. We make sure our file type, where it says file type, we need to change that because if we don't, it's not gonna work. And I'll just show you that as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say get dictionary. So we can just go to dictionary. So get value from dictionary is what we need. And the way we're gonna set this up is we're gonna actually clear this variable because we don't want it. What we want to do is asking us get value for key and what dictionary. Well, the dictionary we want it to be is whatever's up here. So instead of creating, putting this list down here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it automatically choose whatever goes into here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to grab the and let's see here, select variable. And we're gonna say value because whatever values up in here is the dictionary we're working with. Now, get value for key. The key is going to be whatever this is right here. So we're gonna remove, choose, show result and pull it down like so. And we're going to make this value right here. So we can click in here and we can select a variable, or if you know that this is a choose from menu, you can come over here until you see choose from menu and grab it, which is choose chosen item, which is right here, but we're gonna click on it and just click it right here just to be on the safe side. Now what I can do is I can say, now it's gonna show the result of whatever this is. So now when I click play, actually we don't wanna share it, I wanna click play. I'm gonna say my desk. 
and you can see it shows me the items of my desk. And now I'm able to just look at it and I'm able to get it. So this is how it's done. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. What you have to remember is what you're pulling from here is the key, which is text. If we click through here, we can see this type is a file. So if you're having issues where it's not working, all you got to do is come down here and change this type to text and you won't have any more issues. It'll work every single time. Shortcuts is finicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But if you're getting any glitches or anything like that, literally just click on file, change your variable to text because that's what we're inputting. We want to get the value and then we want to pass that value to this chosen one. And then you can click on chosen item. Chosen item should automatically be text. So what's happening is it's probably converting that text right here, the file type to text, and then passing it through to data jar. So I'm assuming that's what's happening. Now, if we wanted to, we could make sure we do it like that. And then after that, if we wanted to, we can delete this part and then we can continue on. So we can say, let's say split, split text. We can say line by line. We don't want an if statement. We want to repeat. We're going to say repeat with each. And now that's going to be split text. And from here, we can go to reminders. We can drop it in. We can say create. We can say add new reminder here. And from there, that's all we got to do. And now we can just click right here where it says repeat item. But again, if you don't see that down there, you can just click on select magic variable and click it right there. And it'll do the same thing. Now when we click play, we can say A, say always allow, and you can see that it gave me back C. And if we come over to reminders now, we can see that I got a C, which is the only thing that was inside of that one. So that's how it's done. So you can filter anything you want. Like you can literally copy a clipboard and use this action and then repaste the sorted list. So this is how you do it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions for me, let me know and I'll create more Q&A videos just like this one. Till next time. Later.